we are at the ruins of ancient Shiloh where Joshua set up the tabernacle in the promised land. Later on, Hannah came here to pray to the Lord to ask him for a son. When he was born, she brought Samuel to offer him um, to the Lord for his service. And this is recorded in 1 Samuel 2. And part of Hannah's prayer says, He raises up the poor from the dust. He lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with princes and inherit a seat of honor. While Samuel was a young boy, Eli was a high priest. The Ark of the Covenant, which had resided here in Shiloh, had been taken to Aphek to fight in the battle against the Philistines. When news of the loss of the Ark reached Eli, he fell over backwards, broke his neck, and died. Many old people have lost their lives in the battle. The two sons, Hophni and Phinehas, are dead, and the Philistines have captured the Ark of the Lord. Later on, um, Jeremiah records the destruction of Shiloh as a warning to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. So they instructed the Benjamites, saying, Go and hide in the vineyards, and watch. When the girls of Shiloh come out to join the dancing, then rush from the vineyards, and each of you sees a wife from the girls of Shiloh, and go to the land of Benjamin. So that is what the Benjamites did. While the girls were dancing, each man caught one and carried her off to be his wife. overlooking ancient Shechem where God promised Abraham to send into the land. Jesus came to a village in Samaria where he met a Samaritan woman and he said to her that he would give her living water. The Samaritan woman that Jesus met at the well said that you Jews believe that Jesus is worshipped in Jerusalem, but we believe that he is worshipped here on this mountain. She is referring to Mount Gerizim, which we are standing on right now. I'm standing here on a ruin called Makatir. You can see behind me students playing around on some of the ruins of what we believe is the location of Ai. The Bible gives very specific geography related to jo Joshua's conquest of the city. To the west, Joshua set an ambush while he himself camped on a ridge across a valley from the city of Ai. You're on. Tell us when. We are excavating at Tel Borna, which might be Biblical Libna and we're sifting through what we dug and we're finding mainly pop shirts like this one which is a rim all right we're at the site of ancient libna possibly uh, within the first like three inches of dirt we found this little egyptian inscribed bead in the judean trail there are many caves and in this region this is where the amorite kings fled from joshua and the hailstones from heaven to seek protection we used to do that in our church. That's what we did. After communion. Yeah. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege of allowing us to be here in Israel. For his parents, the joy it is to see our kids. We thank you for doing their hearts, and lives, and minds through the ministry of Ben to the Hill. Luke, are you happy or sad your mom's leaving? Oh, I gotta what? go to that side. Oh. <laughs> I've been warning. I'm going to rip my clothes, but only about six inches because that's how they did it. What is the one thing you talk most about together? God, the Bible, theology. <laughs> Three guys down on their knees right now. Two guys on top one on top of them. Everybody else off. Ready? One, two, three. 